Welcome. Welcome back to our new series, Survey of Mathematics. And this is part two of chapter two. So if you haven't watched part one, please go to read and yeah, go to read and try to check out. And if you haven't downloaded this file, feel free to go to my description box and download it. And this is now page number three. Okay, so let, let's continue to discuss about this. Set of natural number. Now we'll be especially talking about natural number. So you need to know that natural number is always with a symbol n. So you know math is lazy, sometimes it puts some notation or put some sign or put some patterns here to make it short, okay? We don't want to write a long, long thing. We write to just put n here, okay? So remember, n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it continues. Means 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, even 7, 72 is included, 125 is included, 1,452 is included, okay? So it continues until infinity, okay? However, let me just brief you for a while that natural number actually is a finite set. So we'll be discussing that later on. So it's okay. We just look at here first. Okay. But before I continue about this set builder notation, this have an L here, let me explain about inequality for a while. So if I say that A is greater than 5, so A, it should be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and more. So 5 is not included here because it is more than, okay? But if I say A is more than or equal to 5, then A is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and more, okay? Just remember that this line makes a difference, okay? This sign means that, inequality sign means that more than. But this with the line at the end, it means that more than or equal to, okay? So just be careful, okay? Now, this exercise, let's go to this exercise. It says that x is an element of natural number. It means that it should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and more, more, more. Does it include 0? No. It starts from 1. When it is, if it is whole number, then yeah, it includes 1, uh, it includes 0. It starts from 0. Okay? However, this is natural number. So x is an element of n, and x is less than 4. So x is less than 4. Is 4 included? The answer is, look at this one. The answer is no. So the roster method here, it should be less than 4. It should be 3, 2, 1. Is it continue? No more. Because 1 is the first one. And it ends here. Let's look at the second one x is a natural number at the same time n n means at the same time x should be lesser or equal to 4 so the answer is 1 2 3 and it is including 4 and let's look at this one continue x is an element of n which is natural number and x is more than 1. So x is more than 1. So, oops. So you can put here 2, 3, 4, and you can just put dot, 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 which means it continues. Because math is kind of lazy, we don't want to write down everything, okay? Just put dot, 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 represent continuing, okay? And let's look at the next one. x is a natural number, and x is more than or equal to 1. Remember, more than or equal to 1. So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, and continue. 
And I know you might ask me, I know it's more than or equal to 1, but how many elements should I write before I write dot dot dot? So it is depends on you. You can, but at least try to write at least 3, okay? That will be good enough. Okay, let's look at the next one. X is an element of n, and 1 is in between, and, and x is in between 1 and 4. You see, just, just try to, if you're confused with these kind of patterns, just try to draw a number line, okay? For example, here, uh, no, no, 0, okay, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So, 1 to 4. What is in between 1 to 4? Remember, 1 to 4. But 1 and 4 is not included. So it will be 2 and 3. Which means that your answer should be 2 and 3. Yes. That should be your answer. So right here, 2 and 3. Okay, it's kind of back. So from here to here. So it's two and three. And you might ask me, hmm, did you low? But you see here, two point five is part of here, right? This area, this region. How about two point five? The answer is no. Two point five is not part of the natural number. Because natural number doesn't have decimal. It just starts from one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's continue here. X is a natural number, and, and X is starting from 1 to 4. So which means that now this time, 1, 2, 3, 4. And now this time is, see, including 1 and 4. So which means that here will be 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, I think this is kind of easy. Okay, and how about this one? Now it makes it complicated a little bit. X is an, an element of natural number, and 1 is less than or equal to X and less than 4. So don't worry, this is just basically means that it is including 1, but not including 4, okay? Let me just show you that this is this means that including, this means that not including. So it's from here, it's still from here. So it starts from here. So it means that it is 1, 2, and 3. That's all. And let's look at the next one, the last one. X is an element of N and 1. Lesser than x, lesser or equal to 4. So, I believe that you know that it is including 4, but not including 1. So, the answer here will be 2, 3, 4. I think that's easy, right? Good, good. So, let's look at the next topic. It is cardinality, equivalent sets, and equal sets. Okay, basically, we study this together. And we we'll say this together. So, what is cardinality? Oh, so don't be amazed by or surprised by the name that's so nice. Cardinality basically just means that the number of sets, the number of elements in a set, I should say. Okay, let me just write it down. Um, number, number of elements in a set or basically okay I can just say the number of elements in a box As example here now I put here one I put here two and I have another three here and another four here so in a box here how many numbers that you have how many elements you have the answer is four why because one two one two three four 
How about this one? It's a box, and you put here A, B, Z, D. How many elements do you have? How many elements do you have? One, two, three, four. The answer is four. So just like a set, and remember, there's a set here. One, two, A, B. How many elements do you have? The answer is four. Because one, two, three, four. The answer is four. Okay? So let's look at this. If A is equal to one, two, three, A has a set of one, two, three, it means that the numbers of elements inside A, set A, is 3. Just like this, 1, 2, 3. So 3 of A. This is the way of writing it. Okay. I think it's kind of easy, but let's try to do the questions here. Find the cardinal number, no A, of each of the following sets. So let's look at this one. A is equal to 7, 9, 11, 13, 5. 15. So how many elements here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you can say that the number of elements in set A is equal to 5. And that's all. Easy? Kind of easy, right? Let's look at here. B is equal to inside. There's a 0. So is this an empty set? The answer is no. Because 0 is one of the elements. So you can say that. And the numbers of elements in set B is 1. Why 1? Because there's one element here, which is 0. Okay? So let's look at this one. C. C is equal to 13, 14, dot, 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 22. So the number of elements of in C is equal to what is equal to? Please don't put right. Don't please don't write three here. Why? Because here has a dot dot dot, which means that it is continuing number from fourteen to twenty two. So which means that this dot 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 actually represent fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And 21. Then you ask, why why don't, 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 why don't they just write everything? Because man is lazy and I have no choice too. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the number of elements in C is 10. Let's look at the next one. D is equal to... So what's that mean? This means... Empty set. Okay? So the numbers of elements in D is 0. There's nothing inside. Because it's empty. And the last one. D is equal to 1, 1. Um, this is a tricky question. Now we have two elements, right? It seems like. And number of elements in D is actually is equal to 1. Right? But, but there's two, right? Remember one thing that's important, okay? Repeating set, or, 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 oh, sorry, repeating number is considered as same thing. So, me, me, which means that if I have a set that say 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, but the number of elements. Actually, it's just one. Why? Because this is repeating. Okay? It doesn't matter that how many times it repeats. As long as it repeats, it just considered as one. Okay? Remember this one, okay? Don't get tricked by the questions. So, we are done with the cardinality. And let's go to equivalent sets and equal set. So, remember, there's a difference in the meaning of equivalent and equal okay so equivalent sets means that only the number of the elements are the same so for example here you can look at the question the notes here here it says that 
N A is equal to N B, which means that if you want to say that this set and this set is the same, you need to, uh, I mean equivalent, you need to say that you need to make sure that the numbers of elements are the same. See, N A is equal to N B. So just in other words, okay, if you want to say that this box and this box is equivalent, you need to make sure that the numbers of this box and the number and number of elements in this box and the number of elements in this box is the same. Then you can say that it is equivalent. Okay? It doesn't matter that what kind of elements are inside. As long as the numbers of elements are the same, we call it as equivalent. Okay? Right, I hope it's understand. So let's look at the example here. A is 1, 2, 3, 4. B is 6, 7, 8, 9. Since the elements inside A is have 4, and the number of elements inside B also have 4, so we can say that A is equivalent to B. Okay? However, if you want to say that hmm, this and this is the same, is equal, then you need to make sure that everything it should be the same okay means that the elements inside also need to be the same so for example look at here a is equal to one two three four and b also equal to one two three four so since a and b is the same so a is equal to b okay so you remember equivalent it doesn't care about what's the elements inside the box as long as it has the same number, we call it as equivalent set. But equal set, it should be exactly equal. Okay? And you know, I know you ask. Okay, example, there's a set P here. It says that A, B, C, D. And we have another set Q here. It says B, C, A, D. So, teacher law is, I know P and Q is an equal set because it has the same number but is it a equal set because they are they have a a they have b they have c they have d is yeah they have a b c d but the arranging is different so is it considered as an equal set the answer is yes math is strict but it's not that strict until where you sit also will consider okay so, as long as A, B, C, D is there, fine. It doesn't care about their position, okay? So, let's look at the question, the exercises here. So, here it says that, determine whether it is equivalent, equal, or neither. So, it here says that, the set A, X, X is a vowel. So, remember, this is what we call as set builder notation. Okay, set builder notation. And this one, P is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is what we call it as roster method. Go back to my first video and check it out if you forget. So A, set A is equal to X is equal to Y. B is a natural number. And 3 is um, less than or equal to X, less than or equal to 7. So first, what is Y? Remember, this you must know, okay? Because you'll be facing this all the time in this chapter especially. So, vowel means that A, E, I, O, U, okay? A, E, I, O, U is considered as vowel. Just for your information, the alphabet that not, not A, E, I, O, U, which is it which means that not vowel, they are called as consonant. Cons eh, consonant. Okay? Which means that like B, like C, like D, like F, dot 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 those not including A E I O U until Z. Okay? Those are called as consonant. Okay? You this one you must know, okay? In your exam will come out. So set A 
You see, this is set builder notation, so it doesn't give you the elements. So you need to list it down by your own. Okay, A, E, I, O, U, and B. So what is B? B is a natural number, and including three until seven. So which means that three, four, five, six, seven. Why? Why three and seven is included? Because this is using less than or equal to sign here. Okay. So by looking at it, you know exactly that it is. It is not equal, right? Because it's totally different thing. One is talking about alphabet. One is talking about numbers. But it might be equivalent. So let's count the numbers of elements inside. One. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it is the same. So the number of elements in A, set A, is the same as the number of elements in set B, which is both equal to five. So I can say that this is an equivalent set. Done. Okay? So let's look at this second question. P set P is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Set Q is equal to 2, 3, 5, 4, 1. Hmm. So I believe this question is easy since I explained it. 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5. So we can see that it is exactly the same thing, although the position is different. So this is considered equal set okay so let's look at the next one m and n so 2 3 4 7 9 2 3 5 7 9 so is this equal or equal you see this is 4 but this is 5 so for sure it is not equal but how many elements do it has does it have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is considered as equivalent set. You might ask, hey, how about the others are the same, just one element? No, no, no. One element is different. It is not equal anymore. Okay? Let me just add one more in case you want to try something. For example, I will say A is equal to 1, 2, 3. B is equal to A, B, C, D. So now let me ask you, is it equal or equivalent or neither? So for sure it is not equal, right? Because it's talking about alphabet here, but it's talking about numbers here. But is it equivalent? The answer is no. Because the number of elements in set A is 3. And the number of elements in set B is 4. So we can say that it is neither. Okay? I hope you got this concept and I think it's kind of easy, okay? And next, let's talk about continue talk about something about finite and infinite sides. So finite and infinite or finite, okay? So now you look at these two concepts finite and infinite. So you might be confusing, well, what is finite and what is infinite? It's okay. Just imagine that, okay? This is a box again, and this is a box, okay? Remember that we try to call a box, try to call set as a box, okay? So finite basically means that the elements inside, we can count the numbers of elements inside. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, we know that there's 5 things inside. But in the infinite infinite set, there are so many things that until we cannot count. And there is called infinite set. So remember, finite set and infinite set. Infinite set means that you can count. Although you, you might doesn't know, but you know can count. But infinite set is too much, then you cannot be count. Okay? So, for example, let's look up 
to back and we try to see whether is it the finite side or infinite side. So let's look at this set. Set A is equal to A E I O U. We know that this is an finite set because we can count. We know it's 5. Let's look at here. This one. You can count right this one. Why? Because 2, 3, 4. So you know that this is a finite set. Let's look at hmm, any more set. Okay, let's look at this set. L is equal to A to Z. Is this finite set or infinite set? The answer is finite set. A finite set. Because you can count. You know, here have A to Z. You know the numbers of the alphabets. So, since so I don't have any example, yes, here. So, if you look at this one, so is it finite or infinite? The answer is infinite. Why? Because you cannot count here. 1, 2, 3, 4, and it continues. It continues until 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and more, 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 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, millions, billions that you cannot count. So, that is considered as infinite. Okay? So, but there's a special thing that you need to understand. Just now we talk about natural number, right? Natural number. And we know the natural number, we use a symbol n to represent it, okay? And we know n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, by looking at this, if I say, can you tell me that the set, the set of a natural number the set of a natural number, is it considered as finite or infinite? So most popularly you will tell me that it should be infinite because it continues until no ends. However, there's a special thing, just a special thing then for this natural number that natural number yeah, can't be count. But for a special reason, it considered as a finite set. Okay? Remember, n can't be count, supposedly, so it will be infinite, cannot be count, but it actually considered as finite set for a special reason, okay? However, if the questions only come out, that's been, the question come out with this one, a is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, continuous. You see, this and this is the same thing, but this, as long as it has a symbol n, is its natural number, this considered as finite, finite. However, if it doesn't mention that its natural number, although it has the same thing, it is considered as infinite. I know it's weird, but that's mathematics, okay? Remember, when it comes to natural number, although it looks infinite, and it's supposed to be infinite, but it considered as finite. The same thing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, actually is considered as infinite. This one, I know you make sense, it makes sense. But this one, hmm, it's a special case, mad like special case, okay? So remember, okay? So for example, here you can look at here, 1, 2, 3, 4, dot, 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 and yeah, this is considered as infinite set, infinite set. Like x is a number that more than 9, you can understand that 9, more than 9 means 10, 11, 12, and continuous until no end. That's considered as infinite. Less than negative 4, so it can be negative 5, it can be negative 6, it can be negative 7, and more, 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 more. And it's composite number. So composite number, what is composite number? Composite number, which means that it is not prime number okay so if you want to know what's prime number we'll be explaining in the next few minutes and let's look back to the finite set here it says that n a is equal to zero is also considered as finite set which means that empty set empty set is also considered as an finite set finite set okay empty set 
is part of it too okay and this is just an example the finance side usually you will not see dot 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 okay if example let me just give one more example if you see like this one two three dot 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 ten is it finite or infinite the answer is finite why because you can count you know this is four six seven eight nine so you know this total 10 okay just don't be confused dot 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 doesn't mean that it always be infinite okay so let's look at the questions here exercise if the set s in each part is finite write down cardinality of the set s of course you know right if they, it is finite most probably you know the cardinality you can count right and so you can say n is equal to how much but if it's infinite you cannot be count so it doesn't have the cardinality so let's look at the questions s is equal to primes so primes basically just mean prime number okay so prime number so what is prime number i hope you know it but if it doesn't know it then let me explain prime number is a number that can only can only divide by one or itself okay that's mean it must can only only there's a keyword here only divide by one and itself so let's look at one is one okay, let me just write down a list of number here can one divide by one is is one can only divide by one is it one here but if it itself cannot why because uh, it's again one so one is not considered as a prime number because it satisfies this one but cannot satisfy this one or i should say it satisfies because itself is one so it's not considered as prime number so this one up how about two two can divide by one two divided by one become two okay but two can it divide by itself yes it can divide by itself but can it divide by other things no right because it can divide by one and can divide by itself only so two how about three three can divide by one yes so one can can divide by two no can it divide by itself yes so only two one and itself so consider how about four can four divide by one yes can four divide by two yes can four divide by three no can four divide by itself yes so you see that four can divide by one two and itself so which means that there's three things but prime number says i only want the number that can divide by one and itself only so four is not considered because specially can divide by two so one two itself three so there's three numbers already how about five five can divide by one but cannot divide by two three four and also can divide by itself only so it's one and five so it's considered as a prime number six no because actually it can divide by two which is not part of here so i cannot consider seven yes because can only divide by one and itself and it continues okay so basically if you know the idea it has two three five seven eleven thirteen uh, seventeen and more so if you notice as set two actually there's no other prime number uh, no other even number i mean so even number is a number that can divided by two so if you look properly like four like six like eight like ten they are not considered as prime number why because specially they can divide them by two 
which is out of the options here. Here says that only one and itself, but even number can divide by two, so they cannot be considered as prime number. So two is the only even number in prime number. Okay. So by knowing this concept, let's look back to this one. So S is primes. Primes mean just prime number. Okay. So can you calculate all the prime number? The answer is no, 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 no. That's too much. Because 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and it continues until no end. So the answer is this is infinite. That's too much. So let's look at the second one. S is equal to even primes. So it means that even numbers is an even number primes number. Okay. So just now I told you, 2 is the only even number in primes number. Why? Because the others can be divided by 2. Okay. So 2. So S is equal to. So the number of elements in S is equal to 1. So this is finite. Okay, let's look at the third one. S is equal to the even primes that greater than 5. Do we have the number even primes that greater than 5? We know that even primes is only 2. Is 2 greater than 5? No. Which means that S is a empty set. Which means that the number of elements in set S is equal to zero. And remember, when empty set, empty set is also considered as a finite set. So this is a finite set. Finite set. And let's look at the S. S means that whole number that less than hundred. So what is whole number? So just like natural number, whole number basically just start from 0, 1. Uh, start from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and it continues. So the difference between whole number and natural number just basically means that whole number has an extra 0. So we can say that S will be equal to 0, 1, 2, and it continues until 99 because less than 100 right so 99 so can you count basically 1 to 99 is 99 99 plus one more zero here so basically you can say that the numbers of elements in set s is equal to 100 so this is finite okay so Thank you so much for watching this video. If you don't understand or any need more clarification, please feel free to comment below and let me explain further. So thank you so much. Get some rest and we'll continue in the next video. Thank you and good luck. Bye-bye.